later in this video. I'll spice things up a bit. There, much better. Dear Diary, I can't stand Adam. He smells so bad, like a beast. Thanks for inviting us, Rapunzel, to your salon for a spa day. Yeah, I totally need a pedicure. Get it, Tell. <laughs> <laughs> of course, no problem, girlies. I just love pampering my friends, you know? Hmm, I just can't decide. What do you guys think? Should I go with rose color red or Lumiere yellow? Ooh, what about Mrs. Potts purple? I almost went with it, but then I went with snow white. <laughs> yep, that's the one. I love it. Sorry I'm late. I had traffic on the way in. Traffic? Yeah, I got stuck swimming behind a school of fish. <laughs> no worries. Pick out enough color and I'll be right with you. Yes, it's happening. It's really happening. Hey guys, it's me, Ro, from Nerdy Mummies, and it's time for me to reveal my deepest, darkest secret. I know you've all been waiting for it. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> my biggest secret is... Oh, just tell us already. That I... Use salted butter instead of unsalted butter in all of my nerdy nummy recipes. What? That's it? I thought I was going to get the juicy details like why she broke up with guava juice or which YouTuber she really can't stand. <laughs> really? That is the juicy details? Wow, even the princesses have better secrets. <laughs> Speaking of, I wonder what they're up to. Okay, your turn, Anna. Truth or dare? Um, truth. Is it true that you almost married Hans and didn't really like Kristoff at first? Oh, no way! That's crazy. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm so embarrassed to say that it's true, but if you watch Frozen, Hans comes across as such a nice guy at first. We sing a song together, but then I came to find out he was just using me to become king. Ugh, yeah, he totally played you, but I'm so glad that Kristoff came to your rescue. You guys make the cutest couple. Don't they? I'm so glad too. Okay, who's next? <gasps> Ooh, me, me. Okay, Ariel, truth or dare? Mm, I choose... Truth! That's it! I'll reveal their deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets to the world. Then, they'll run away and I'll take over all their kingdoms. <laughs> but how will I find out their secrets? Hmm, I'll probably have to follow them each for a week, call all their friends and family, watch their social media closely, and... Might I, uh, make a suggestion, boss? What is it, Diablo? Why don't you just read their diaries? Like last week, when you wrote that you had a crush on Prince Adam, and liked his blue suit, and... How do you know that? Uh, what? Did you read my diary, Diablo? No, uh, just a little birdie told me. Whatever. I'll only let it slide because it gives me a good idea. Quick. Where's my phone? <laughs> okay, Elsa, your turn. Okay, I choose... Oh, wait, hold that thought. My phone's ringing. Hello? <clears throat> Radio announcer. <clears throat> Hello! Is your name Ice Queen of Arendelle? Well, actually, it's Elsa. Great! I'm Morana, calling from 105.7 Rose Radio Station, and we have a contest giveaway! <laughs> the radio? <gasps> Snow, my gosh! Can I put you on speaker? I'm sorry, you were saying a radio contest giveaway? Ooh, I love contests. The reason I am calling is we are giving away tickets to... The Dumbo Premiere! The Dumbo Premiere? What? I love Dumbo. He has those cute floppy ears and... If you can answer this question in the next 10 seconds, you and your five princess friends will win tickets to the premiere. Wait, how did you know there were five of us? Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Are you still there? Yeah, we're still here, and I'm ready to answer the contest question giveaway. Who is the fairest in all the land? Elsa, that's Snow White. Snow White, final answer. Sorry, wrong answer. But 
I'll give you another try. Um. Oh, try Snow White's wicked stepmother. You know, the queen? Yeah, she used to say that to her magic mirror. Um, the queen? Growing impatient. Wrong again. The correct answer is actually Maleficent. Oh, man. But to get you out of your respective castles, we'll give you another shot. Here is your next question. Oh, wow, that's so nice of her. If you can name all of Snow White's seven dwarves' names in the next 10 seconds, you win. Oh, that's easy. Your time starts now. Sleepy, sneezy, doc, bashful, happy, grumpy, dopey. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You win. Woo. I win. <laughs> you won. We're going to the Dumbo premiere. <gasps> this is so great. <gasps> awesome. When is it? Yay. <laughs> it's in uh, an hour. In an hour? But where? See you there. All right, um, thanks. Oh my gosh, we gotta get ready. Really? Snow White is the fairest of them all? Uh, yeah, it was like the whole thing of a movie. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm the greatest of them all. Wait, uh, boss, side note, how are you gonna get Dumbo premiere tickets? Really, Diablo? Ever heard of a little thing called magic? Dumbo tickets. Diablo, make yourself useful and deliver these. Ay, yeah, yeah. what do I look like, a courier pigeon? Okay, girls, are you ready to go? Yep, all set. I'm ready, but we just need our tickets. Do you think that's the radio station with the tickets? But how do they know your address? I'll get it. Huh, there's nobody at the door. <gasps> Wait, what are those? It's the Dumbo premiere tickets. These are 100% absolutely not fake tickets. Perfect. Girls, I got them. Let's go. Dear Diary, Prince Adam is so dreamy and the kitchen staff is just the nicest. How did I get so lucky? Ugh, really? How sweet. Yuck, I want the secrets, the juicy secrets. Every page is boring. Boring, boring, ugh. I know, I'll spice things up a bit. There, much better. Dear Diary, I can't stand Adam. He smells so bad, like a beast. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, my work here is done. On to the next house. Do we have to? Why, yes. Yes, we do. You know the drill. Every day at 3 o'clock, we surprise Belle. Yes, I know. We show up unannounced. You ask Belle to marry her. And then... <clears throat> Maleficent? Ooh, what are you doing here? I could ask you two the same thing. <gasps> Is that Belle's diary you have in your hands? I'd recognize that anywhere. What? Uh, this old thing? Um, no, it's my sketching journal. More like sketchy with a journal. <laughs> Malefa sketch. <laughs> Anyone? No. You know, that is definitely 100% Belle's diary. Yeah, and I would know, seeing as Gaston has made me steal it 48 times. 49. Ooh, big words. What's it say? What's it say, LeFou? O-M-G. <clears throat> and I'm only dating him because he's a prince, and I want to be queen one day. The truth is, I really love someone else. <gasps> and he would be better suited for Maleficent. <gasps> P.S. She has great horns. I'm jealous of her. You do have great horns. What in the what? I can't believe she would write such a thing. Do you think Prince Adam knows? Calm your crackers. I wrote it. Ah! Oh, I must tell her at once. Don't you dare. We're not scared of you, Maleficent. Well, how about this? I'll add you to her diary in exchange for you do a little something for me. Deal. No deal. Well, what is it? As the brains of this dynamic duo, we vote a deal. All right, fine. But you're going to add that Belle has a little crushy poo on Gaston and that I'm also very handsome. And that she really wants to marry me. Legum, Gaston. Haha, <laughs> you're named after a peanut. 
Yeah, so? His father was a little nuts. Get it? Nuts. All right, great. Now, for what I need, I need you both to join the circus. Ooh, I love the circus. Have you seen The Greatest Showman? Great. Now you two are the main attraction, introducing Dumbo and his ringleader. What? what? Oh, and act out the Dumbo movie for me, please. Belle and her friends think they are going to the Dumbo movie premiere. Now to Elsa's house. Belle! Ooh! I'm in! You do realize we look ridiculous, right? That's irrelevant. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> irrelevant. Tell Belle that one later. I just like Jack Frost snow much. Ugh, gross. <laughs> much better already. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni sandwiches are my favorite because they combine the three things I love the most. Pizza, sandwiches, and hanging out with Kristoff. Mm, nope. I think we changed this narrative a bit. There. That is much sweeter. <laughs> For a big movie premiere, this seems kind of empty. Oh no, are we late? I should check my ticket. Yeah, I hope Ariel and Elsa catch up with us soon. Let's go. Wow, these are great seats. <laughs> yeah, we're front row, but there's nobody else in the theater. I know, maybe this is a private screening event. <gasps> like they rented out the whole theater for us? Wow, that's so cool. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> Snow, my gosh, it's starting. Dumbo, you need to fly or else! Look at me, I'm Dumbo, and I can fly! Yippee! Look at me, circus trainer man! I can fly! <laughs> uh, wait a second. Yeah, that's not how Dumbo goes. I should know, I read the book. Is it just me or do those two look awfully familiar? Get, Get on, on little fellow! No, oh, it's that Dumbo! You wanna go back to your mom now? Uh-huh, uh, what's that, Mom? We gotta have dinner? Okay! Oh, that was crazy! I can't believe those two tried to pull a fast one on us! Yeah, but really, is it hard to believe? I mean, it is Gaston and LeFou we're talking about here. Kick them out! Kick them out! Kick them out! Do you guys hear that? Elsa! Any comment about the breaking news allegations that you steal from the villagers? Huh? Steal? Yeah, Elsa never steals. An unnamed source turned in pages and pages of Princess Secret Diaries that state that you, Queen Elsa, have stolen from the villagers, and that Princess Anna and Elsa aren't even real sisters, that Rapunzel is actually heir to the throne. Care to comment? What? That's absurd. No, what's absurd is that you are the thief. After all these years of telling everyone that Flynn was the thief, you're the thief! It's all right here in these Princess Secret Diaries. You guys, I would never steal anything. This just in. We have breaking news that all the Princess Diaries and secrets have been revealed to the world, and that Belle only likes Prince Adam for his prince ship, and she actually thinks he smells like a beast. What? I would never say that. Adam, if you're watching, I would never say that. Lastly, Ariel has been posing as a mermaid this whole time. The truth is in. She can't even swim. <gasps> Gasp! What in the what? Ooh, it, it looks like someone's spilling the tea on all the princesses. Lufu, what are you even talking about? They're not drinking tea! No, what I mean was how the reporter was talking about Belle only liking Prince Adam for being a prince. Hey! She lied to me! What? Maleficent! She said she would write my name in the Bell's diary if we acted out Dumbo for her. I mean, are you really surprised? I mean, she is a villain. I mean, I know like we're villains, but like she's like a villain villain and we're like villains, you know? Yes, that's dishonest. Well, yeah, but you were also trying to dishonestly 
put into Belle's diary that she has a crush on you. Irrelevant! I say we head over to Maleficent's house and give her a piece of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kick, Kick them, them out! out. Kick, Kick them, them out! out. Kick, Kick them, them out. out! More breaking news. The villagers have signed a petition that they want all the princesses out. Oh my gosh, you guys! It gets out. What do we do? Dear Diary, everyone thinks black and purple are my favorite colors. Little do they know, I actually like pink and sparkles. <laughs> this is too good. <gasps> I knew it! Ah! Pretty bird! Yeah, right! The gig's up, Diablo! We know you're not a pirate! Right, LeFou? And more importantly, we heard you reading Maleficent's diary! Yeah, now you need to help us! Oh, Diablo, I'm home! What a day I had! Hey, did you happen to catch the news? Everything went according to plan! Quick, bird! You, you better help us! Or else! Listen! I can only transport the two of yous. The magic potion and I will take you wherever you need to go. This magic potion? Take us to the news station. Ciao, fellas. Diablo, who are you talking to? Good evening. We come to you with egg-breaking news. <gasps> Look, you guys. The TV. Is that Gaston and LeFou? This just in. The earlier reports of the princesses reportedly being bad are fake. Yes, we have proof! Maleficent the Dark Fairy states in her diary, which we have right here, that she made everything up! And that she has a crush on Prince Adam. Ooh, and that Gaston is the most handsome, smartest, and strongest man in all the land. And I don't disagree with that. Right, Belle? Yes, completely clearing the princesses of all... Allegations and charges. Now to LeFou with the weather. LeFou. LeFou, go to the weather. LeFou, you're ruining this segment. LeFou, weather. <sighs> Thanks, Gaston. Now on to weather. As you can see, we've got a nice front coming up from Neverland. Peter Pan's gonna be having a great day if you know what I'm saying. But in the meantime, there's gonna be nothing but sunshine and happiness and happily ever afters for the princesses, but a solid cloud following over Maleficent's day. That's all for weather though. Back to you in the studio, Gaston. Gaston! <gasps> Gaston! He did it! Yeah! He cleared our names and now we won't be kicked out of Arendelle! I still can't believe Maleficent changed our diaries! You know, I think next time, I'm putting a lock on mine. You know, I never thought I'd say it, but maybe Gaston's actually a nice guy. Oh, Belle! Will you marry me? Ooh. That's not how you do the smolder. Yes, it is. I invented the smolder. More like a sizzle. Yeah, scratch that. I, I think I'm wrong. Let's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, oh, Dad! I made you lunch. It's time to take a break. You've been working on this invention all day. Thanks, Belle. I know, I know. But the time machine's almost done. I've been working on it forever. Dad, you always say that. Classic Maurice, you've been working on this time machine for years. But this time, I think I've got it. Remember, Ariel brought over those gadgets and gizmos aplenty and who's this and what's it galore. I added a couple of widgets myself. Wow! So you really think it works? There's only one way to find out. So, Belle, do you want to go into the future? Ah, totally. Can I bring my friends? Of course. Ah, great. OK, let's go to the main house, and I will call them. Meanwhile, you can take a much needed break. So, Maurice finally finished his little time machine, eh? Ugh, I know what the future holds. All those perfect little princesses marry their perfect little prince and have perfect children and live happily ever after. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, not if I have anything to say about it. But first, I need to call in backup. Alter the future? I'm a queen, and I get to marry that dreamboat Prince Eric. Count me in. Or shall I say, Vanessa. 
And you're absolutely positive I can't marry all of them. All right, whoever then. Marry Belle in the future so you can marry Prince Adam. <laughs> yes! I mean, uh, if I must, I gotta tell LeFou. Ah! Now, if I take this enchanted fidget and switch it with this widget, if my calculations are correct, this should alter the course of the future and make it permanent. No going back to the past. <laughs> Belle, thank you so much for inviting us to go to the future with you. Of course, thanks for coming over. Yeah, this is so exciting. <gasps> I wonder what happens in our future. I can't wait to find out. I'm a little nervous though. Are you sure we'll be able to get back, Mr. Maurice? 100%, I'm positive. And once you get to the future, I'll let you explore for a couple hours, and then I'll hit this reversal switch right here, which will bring you back in one piece, but you'll come back knowing what the future is about. Yay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Beam us up, Scotty. I mean, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Wait a second! Green smoke! <coughs> Something isn't right! Uh-oh! Woo! Oh, I guess we're in the future, right, girls? Wait, girls? Hey, guys, where are you? Wait, where am I? Oh my gosh! Shh, 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 it's okay. Oh my gosh, another one? Okay. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay. <sighs> Hello, my little Taco Bell. I brought us tacos for dinner. Dear tacos, yum. Gaston? Yes. Oh, Bell, poor little Gaston Jr. is crying, Bell. Gaston Jr.? Bell, did you hit your head? You know the only way to get Gaston Jr. to stop crying is to give him his baby weight. The only way to console him is to let him lift. Baby curls? Um, okay. Okay, this can't be right. What has gotten into you, Belle? Have you been reading books again? You know we haven't strict! No books rule! I want our children to be raised on television and video games. Okay, hold on a second. I, I, um, I think I'm not feeling so well. Can you just, uh, remind me what happened the past few years? Oh, belly button, you're so silly. <sighs> you finally came around to marrying me. LeFou is our minister. I do! I do? Why do I do? I guess I do. Well, we know Belle does. Gaston, do you? I do. Then you're married! And then we had three of the cutest triplets. Congratulations! It's a girl! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I shall name her Gaston Jr. Oh. Gaston Jr. Gaston Jr. Jr. And Egg. I'm sorry. Egg? Yes! Oh, we argue about this all the time, but Egg is a great name! Hard on the outside, but on the inside, full of protein! Huh. Makes sense. I guess the one thing you love more than yourself is eggs. Oh, <laughs> what was that, Bell Pepper? I missed it. Nothing! <laughs> Gassy, uh, you know what? I am not feeling so well, so I'm just gonna put the kids back in their crib with you, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Okay, but hurry back. LeFou's coming over so we all can go hunting. I know I've been saying this for a while, but we really need more antlers in our decorating. Right. I have got to text the girls. Something is seriously wrong. No way this is my future. Whoa. Is this the future? This just seems like a park. Things don't seem that different. Rapunzel, get this. Little Rose is a chip off the old block. She took lollipops from three of the other kids. Flynn, you shouldn't encourage our baby to steal. Remember, your thieving days are over. Wait a second, we have a baby? I know. Sometimes it's hard for me to believe. I know she's a little girl, but I think she's got my nose and my smolder. Oh, Eugene. Shh, Rapunzel. 
What? She can't understand me. <laughs> you ding. Oh, man. Oh, I just got a text from Belle. She said she wants to meet up in the village. Ugh, I hope everyone else's futures are as good as mine. I'll be right back, Flynn. Wait a second, does she have a frying pan? Now where'd you get that? Like mother, like daughter, I guess. See you soon. Oh my gosh, Rapunzel, thank goodness you came. Something is going on. This future is horrible. Wait, what? Things are going really well. Flynn and I are married, and we have the cutest daughter named Rose. Hey, you guys. Say hello to Sandy. Apparently, I named her after my love of sandwiches. <laughs> Classic Anna. Anyway, she's so cute. Oh, hi, little Sandy. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. You guys, my future's not going so well. I'm married to Gaston. What? No way. Yeah, but if, if you guys have good futures, I don't know. <sighs> you guys, this future is the worst. What? You too? What's going on? Prince Eric married Ursula. And what's worse? I'm their babysitter. And this is their baby. Elijah. Uh, what? what? Okay, something is going on. There is no way that I married Gaston and Ursula married Eric. I smell a rotten egg. And I don't mean my baby egg. You have a baby named Egg? Ugh, long story. I don't want to talk about it. Ah, look, wifey. It's all your dorky princess friends. Wifey? Hey, guys. Meet my husband. I think you mean Hansbend. <laughs> Ew! You married Hans? Not only are we married, meet little Hans. You had a son and you named him Hans? We had a daughter and named her Hans. Hans is a strong name for both boys and girls alike. Well, have fun with your little friends. I'm off to rule the kingdom! Two, two! <laughs> You guys, what in the world is going on? I can't be married to Hans and have a baby named Hans. Gross, 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 gross. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. This is so weird. Elsa, Belle, and Ariel all have really messed up futures, but Rapunzel and I both married the right people and have really cute kids. What gives? Hear ye, hear ye. By royal decree, all princesses and their children are invited to the castle for a royal ball at 7 p.m. at the request of King Adam and Queen Maleficent. Thank you. Wait, hold up, Queen Maleficent? <laughs> she married Prince Adam? Okay, now I know something's going on. No way that happened. Adam is with Maleficent? And Eric is with Ursula? You're right, Belle. Something's fishy, and not just this baby. We have got to go to that ball and find out what's behind all this. I mean, it feels like a dream, but only part. I think I'm finally putting this all together. The villains ended up with whoever they wanted to be with, but Anna and Rapunzel weren't affected because they didn't care who they ended up in a relationship with. A villain must have tampered with my dad's machine. It's also been a really long time. Your dad said he would bring us back in a couple hours, and it's been forever. Do you guys think we're stuck in the future? I hope not. This is definitely not the future I want for you guys. Ugh, guess John just texted me. He needs me to pick up more eggs, of course. I'll see you guys at the ball. Oh, Adam, my sweet king hubby, aren't you just so lucky to be with me? Yeah. I am. Somehow these last few years just seem like a blur. I'm not really sure how we got here. Well, you married me because I'm the fairest of them all. <laughs> oh look, the princesses are arriving. <laughs> Too bad their future didn't turn out as good as ours. <laughs> There's Belle! She's your ex and we don't like her, remember? Belle, you have so many babies! Tell me about it. Too many. I'm really hoping I can alter this future. Hey, Belle. It's been a while. Oh, hey, Adam. Wow, that's 
A lot of babies? <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I don't know where all of this went wrong. It seems like just yesterday you turned me back from being a beast. Adam, that's the thing. I don't think this future is real. I think Maleficent altered it, and I th There you are, my Liberty Bell! Ugh, shoe beast, get away from her. I don't want you to give our babies rabies. Wait! Rhyme! Are you impressed, Belle? Ugh, Gaston, you are so rude! He's not- Well, I guess I'd better get back. Maleficent's about to make a speech. It's good seeing you. Thank you all so much for coming to our ball. You know, me and my hubby, King Adam. Oh, hello, Maleficent. Sorry we're late. It took a little longer to get here from the ocean. <laughs> sure did. Still getting used to my sea legs or fin or, you know. Hey, Eric. Hey, Ariel. You look great. Thanks for watching, little eel Ija. Of course. All right, all right, break it up. No talking to Ariel, remember? Sorry I'm late, Elsa. How's little Hans doing? Oh, look, her sideburns are coming in. <laughs> Lovely. As I was saying, I'm so glad you could all come today because I have an announcement to make. As of today, King Adam and I will be ruling over all of Fairy Tale Land as head, king, and queen. Excuse me? Hold on! Wait a second! Yeah, you said if we helped you alter the future, we'd all be rulers! Well, Gaston, you're not really a ruler. Now that Belle's married you, she's not really a princess either. Hey! She's the princess of my heart. <gasps> so you did alter the future! Alter schmalter. I might have tweaked things a little to make sure they worked out as they should. I knew this wasn't right. I'm supposed to be married to Belle. And I'm supposed to be married to Ariel. And I don't know who I'm supposed to marry, but it's definitely not Hans. Silence! You know what? I think the future would be even better with no princesses. What do you mean? Wicked power, come to me. No more princesses there shall be! Great job, baby Hans. Oh, we have to change that name. Yeah. Uh -uh. We're back! Oh my gosh, you guys! I don't have a million babies! And I'm not babysitting some weird shark baby. Oh, and I'm not married to Hans! Ugh, yuck, gross. I still can't believe that. It worked! Mr. Maurice, something went seriously wrong with your machine. I know! Maleficent messed with my machine! She put in this fidget instead of my widget! I've been working on it for hours and just now able to get you girls back! Oh, hold on a second, you guys. Adam's calling me. Hey, Belle. Me and the guys were all outside and we're uh, ready to go to the movies. Kristoff's stuck in a snowstorm, but he said he'd meet us there. Oh my gosh, Adam. It is so good to hear your voice. Hey, just to clarify, neither one of us is married or has any kids, right? Belle, are you okay? I mean, no, not right now. Someday, of course. I've always wanted to have a son and name him Ben. Aww, I love that. So much better than Egg. Long story. We'll meet you guys outside. We'll be right there. Bye! The machine should be working fine now, if you guys want to give it another try. Thanks, Mr. Maurice, but... I think we're okay. It'd be cool to know our future, but I think we're happy with getting there the slow, old-fashioned way. Come on, guys, let's go! Ugh, foiled again. Hmm, well, let's see what my future is like without me altering it. Wait, I have a baby? 
Well, she is so beautiful and she looks so wicked. <laughs> I think I will call her Mal.